What's up people? Welcome back to another episode. Today we're going to be working on the tiny house once again. As mentioned on the last video, we need to put up the Tyvek, which is the house wrap in case you don't really know much about construction. But anyways, we decided we're going to cut it in half to make it a little bit easier on us since it is just a little bit windy today. So anyways, we're going to go ahead and get that knocked out. And then I'm going to walk around and show you guys just different stuff on the property, show you a little bit of the goats, a little bit of the dogs, and a little bit of everything in between. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this video. It's going to be uh, music at first, some time lapse and then it's all gonna be the sights and sounds of my property so anyways hope you guys enjoy the video let's get into it
All right, all right, all right. Comment down below. Let me know what you think of the house and just everything on the property in general. I love looking out and seeing the goats out there eating along the pond. Plus, that's less work we have to do mowing and weed eating all along the pond's edge. That's really tough to do out there, and they do a good job at it. What'd you guys think of the garden over here? I probably have about, I don't know, 30 tomatoes growing in there, which is crazy. We just picked some yesterday that were red. Got uh, banana peppers, uh, poblano peppers, uh, pepper peppers, and hot peppers, and blah, blah, blah peppers. Every kind of pepper you can think of, I basically have in there. And everything is thriving. Uh, I told you in the past, you don't need any fancy soils or anything. We just got a little bit of dirt from Granny's pasture, threw it in there, just water it ever so often, and boom it's thriving so one last look at the house over here yeah yeah i know i call it a tiny house and to me it is tiny it's only 600 square foot and uh, basically it's the size of an apartment but uh, once again shout out to mom and dad on this video for helping me do the tyvek uh, it was a little bit windy so i had to do it on time lapse at that point but overall very pleased with the way everything's coming out you probably want to watch the house instead of watching down here but uh I'm officially out of material. Like I said, I think I'm at $18,000 invested into the house itself. Uh, next video, I'm not sure if we're gonna be working on the front and back porch. I still gotta order all the wood for that and then also the wood to finish off the sides over here. So most likely, we'll probably be working on the sides, get that stuff wrapped up, and then come in and clean up all the edges over here on the top. Uh, it's still flapping around in the wind. We didn't get up there since the last video. So anyways, uh, it's been a lot of work. Uh, I think it's been about a year and a half since I've been on this property. Once again, if you're new to the channel, that's what it looked like across the street over there, just a overgrown lot. That's what this place looked like. And now I'm turning it to my little dream property in the little old town of Rivera, Texas. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, once again, comment down below, let me know what you guys think. And once again, I do read y'all's comments. So give me some ideas on what y'all wanna see on the next video. Hope you guys have a great day and I'll catch y'all on the next one. Peace.